Hi guys, today we're going to be discussing a very important topic that is your personal introduction, what to say, how to say, what not to say. It's going to be very informative. Let's go. We're going to get right to the point. I want you to take out a notepad, an A4 size sheet, anything. Take out your pen or your pencil and you're going to take these points down. All right. The first thing you're going to do is write down basic information about yourself. Your name, your age, your profession, if you're studying, your qualification, what you're studying and your hobby. The second thing I want you to write down is your background. What your upbringing was like, where you come from what your family is like, what do they do, what is their profession, what did you learn from your upbringing. The third thing I want you to write down is your inspiration. Not general inspiration that inspires everybody, but what inspires you? Why are you here? It could be a person that inspired you, you could name them, but you should have a good enough reason. I would say go with a public figure when you talk about your inspirations uh, because for example, if you say Lake is my inspiration, just kidding. Um, nobody's really going to know who Lake is. I mean, the organization might if you explain to them with the title and everything. But you get my point. Try to take someone famous because then everybody else will also be able to relate to it. And now write that down. Next, you're going to write down the obstacles that you faced in your life. Um, that used to be a pain point for me, honestly, because I could not think of really big obstacles when you see like a lot of you know women talking about coming out of poverty or like having uh, faced a certain kind of an issue or someone losing a parent these are extremely heavy things but we all have obstacles in life and very often than not we surpass the things because we've overcome them you have to you know make a list i used to do this make a list of age 0 to 10 i remember taking out like my entire certificate box and uh, seeing okay what are the certificates i won this year anything that triggers your memory you're not going to remember much of when you till you were 10 years old maybe something might have happened that you might remember through maybe your class photographs or something uh, from age the next decade you know from 11 to 20 or maybe break it down even further because that's when you go through like your high school phase and then you go through college so 11 to 15 and 16 to 20 you know what was your life like were there obstacles that you faced and then if you're in the range of 20 to 25 that you know take five years more down the line what else did you face tiny bits of obstacles you probably did and you overcame them how you overcame them what did you learn from it that will also cover your journey till now when you do that breakdown of your life every class like i remember i I'd had stuff written like many eight standard me i faced this 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 even if it was something as foolish as having your first crush not like you back but that was something that hurt you not saying that it has to come into your introduction but it will give a better insight as to what you have faced and you honestly will realize you've come so far and of course we can pick out the important things later on but this will be a great self-reflection journey so just do it now write about your ambitions not i want to win miss india i want to win miss universe i want this title no 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 you've had a life outside of this pageant right your parents have been paying for a certain kind of education. You might have certain things that you are working towards. What is your big ambition? Because even if you win like something at a world stage, you're going to go through it, reign for a year and then what? You need to have an ambition that goes longer than the title and longer. You have to think long term So write your ambitions. That doesn't always necessarily mean uh, benefit to the organization because they will see benefit in you if they think you are fit okay you saying that hey I want your crown will not make them um, like you more or uh, think you are more credible because oh she wants it so much she's got the drive talk about your real ambitions your real life write about your strengths and weaknesses five strengths five weaknesses you might have ten amazing strengths pick out five really strong ones that you think you could be better at everybody else at weaknesses which you kind of can convert into a strength for example um, you know I'm an introvert by nature and I have a very hard time socializing and I you know have had a sphere of public stages for a really long time but me standing here in front of you speaking is me 
killing that fear and because I know that the more I push myself, the more I'll overcome it and that's who I am as a person. You've impressed everybody. Write down what sets you apart from the rest. Please don't say something like, I work harder than everybody else. I used to say this as well, I know. But I'll tell you what judges think from the other perspective. You don't know if the other girls work hard or not. You are just thinking about yourself right now. Maybe there are much more hardworking girls. They're there right now. Are you diminishing everybody else's hard work by saying that you are the most hardworking? Say something that is very unique to you that you think, you know, makes you who you are as a person. For example, if you asked me, uh, yes, of course, I'm extremely hardworking. But what really set me apart was my ability to want to motivate others to be the best version of themselves and that didn't necessarily have to come in terms of words you could see through the way i was as a person and everybody else would agree um, so i mean just think about it now you can write about what are the qualities that you think you have that makes it deserving for you to get the crown and finally, I want you to write down what is the legacy that you want to leave behind if you do win the crown, if you don't win the crown. I'm talking about your legacy in life. We all want to leave back something for our children, grandchildren and the generation ahead to follow through, right? What do you want to leave behind for the world? Write that down. Here's what my long format introduction sounded like. I'm Lake Uthaya, Femina Miss India, Punjab 2022 an MBA graduate and an associate consultant at Infosys, a social worker and dancer. Coming from an army background, I've had the chance to live across the country, teaching me discipline, adaptability and exposing me to its diverse culture and people. I first went on stage when I was three years old and ever since I come alive in the arms of creativity. My life has mostly revolved around balancing academics and curriculars and through my tenure as an NCC cadet and my active participation in Rotaract clubs, it made me realize I'm the happiest when I'm giving back. My patriotism towards India, my love for performing arts and a soul that aspires to inspire is what brings me to Femina Miss India and I aim to prove to the world that with a headstrong drive and a relentless spirit, one can achieve anything he or she desires. There are multiple drafts that you have to make of your introduction. You can't uh, just stick to one because you very often than not will tend to forget and also we cannot fit all the things we've done in our life in one introduction, right? If the judges have all of your details on a page and they'll be like, tell us something we don't know. There's got to be layers of you and that you're only going to be able to find out if you do the activity, which is write down all the things that I just said before. During uh, the end, during the finale, we were told that it wouldn't be an introduction, but an opening statement. So we also had to write our opening statements down. And uh, this is what I had written. Sasjakal, coming from an army background, I've had the chance to travel across the country and it's helped me appreciate its diversity and also exposed me to underprivileged communities where I met children with tragic pasts and infectious smiles with big dreams who lacked resources to fulfill them. Thus I, Lake Uthaya, Femina Miss India Punjab, stand on this stage today with the hope to encourage the youth to push past their limits and aim high. And if I win tonight, I intend to use this fabulous platform to help children across the world and see to it that they too receive the same opportunities that I have. Because they are our future, they are the next tide, empower children and they'll bring our country pride. Jai Hind. <laughs> it's a shame you guys didn't get to hear it on stage. So what I want you to do is read things out of that. Uh, take what I have written into consideration, uh, what I read out to you and see what you can fit in in your 30 seconds of introduction. Take away things that are redundant, um, maybe quotes that you thought you might add at the beginning if you think they're cutting into like 15 seconds and you barely have anything to say. Take the quote out. Just keep it direct because I'll tell you what, the judges, they see so many girls and this time they're traveling also. Uh, of course, the screening process is 
also done by most of them and they you know sit through late at night figuring out who should make it because only so many girls have so many slots open so you have to keep it crisp don't think about making it unique do not use big words uh, stay true to yourself you know most importantly having said that i'm going to give you a list of do's and don'ts that you should remember while you're forming your introduction and while you're practicing it we'll start with the don'ts because i think it's very important to know what not to do so you know what you should be doing the first point is don't ratta maro uh, which basically translates to to not memorize your introduction don't think that isi sequence mein jayega yahi of course your name will come first out of your mouth but uske baad for example fourth line was talking about um you know your passion but you remember it after your name just say it it's fine you should have a way to speak through your um vulnerability and through your nervousness you have to be spontaneous and that comes with practice do not give quotes in the introduction unless you think it's really really important and actually enhances your introduction and makes it uh more relatable to yourself because sub quotes padte hain everybody are philosophers at that moment when the judges minds are going into overdrive because they can't remember who said what to what face you're going to start with quotes and all there no way going to remember you because quotes are general right don't use yourself in third person i've seen girls do this she who dreamt far and big and she who followed her heart has finally arrived don't do the she's Okay speak directly it just does not sound personal and it's very easy to zone out to as you have less time uh, don't mention or don't elaborate on your bwap project actually um i'll tell you this and actually a lot of people don't say this um but right before our finale we had a call with the head of miss india organization and uh, she went ahead and told us he girls i know that a lot of you have done a lot of social work and have really improved communities but today when you get the mic please don't speak about that we need to we need to know who you are we are taking it into consideration by default that all of you are helpful by nature uh, but we want to speak we want to hear about you so don't make it more about your project so and agar main ye finale ke liye bol sakti hu so please make sure and and you'll also see that a lot of um, people who win don't necessarily win because they have uh, a big bwap project in flow right that is just something that is a part of the pageant so when you're doing your introduction if it you still have time after covering all your basic points go ahead and mention it if you worked really hard for it definitely mention it um but don't speak so much about your bwap project matlab pata hi na chale ki aap kaun ho bas aapka bwap project yaad reh jayega i know pageants are about looking pleasant and smiling but don't plaster a smile on your face i've seen girls who go like i've seen a lot of girls who will uh, go like and uh, then i met with a very major accident which uh, completely paralyzed me but then i came <laughs> just let feel what you're saying you know if it's sad let let that show on your face i'm pretty sure you were not smiling when you met with the accident don't seem fake don't lie and if you're going to lie first convince to yourself that you it actually has happened and it's the truth if you want to talk about you being the head girl or whatever even if you weren't they aren't going to ask you for certificates and like pictures to show your head girl ka thing you want to say it you say it if it's adding on to your introduction but believe it by yourself even if you weren't pehle mano ki ha main thi head girl maine diya tha main jeeti thi aur maine ye sare responsibilities follow kiye the aur mere paas ye leadership quality hai we're going to go to some do's the things that you should be doing number 1 take deep breaths okay i know you're going to have to walk you're going to have to hold the mic there are a lot of times hands shiver all that stuff happens it's fine they already know that you're nervous it's very difficult to be put on spot it's very difficult to go anywhere not knowing if you're going to be accepted or rejected you're risking that rejection and you're very brave for that just remember that nobody knows you better than you nobody does Okay you've got the power this is your place to shine don't don't get nervous stay deep 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 breaths breaths help take as many deep breaths as you can throughout the audition and throughout the pageant and actually throughout life feel like 
a language that like Hindi, I think Hindi and English are the two most widely known languages, uh, especially for the everybody, you know, you'll have audiences, you'll have the judges, you'll have the jury. Um, if you've prepared it in Hindi, um, pre also prepare it in English, even if your English is not very, uh, kya bolte hai? if it's not very strong, prepare it in both, go ask them, kya main Hindi mein bol sakti hu? They'll say, yes, go ahead and maybe your Hindi is so much better, you have a lot more emotion jab aap Hindi mein baat karte ho as compared to you speaking in English. Of course, you're allowed to do that, but ask for permission and also prepare in English just in case. Finally, guys, enjoy the moment it is so great that you made it that far okay you're giving your dreams a chance you're exploring you're doing things that our mothers and our grandmothers used to wish to go to miss india and to like do all of that and you're there you know you're talking to the people you you you've got like amazing amazing people around you you made it so far i think it's a brilliant thing so just enjoy as much as you can and that will show on your face. My God, it's gotten dark. I've been recording for a while. I'm pretty sure you've seen the lighting around that has changed and I forgot to switch on my ring light. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope this information was helpful to you. Please subscribe. Please share it to your friends who will be going into the audition or will be going ahead and participating in other pageants. I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.